All right, everybody, welcome to the very first podcast, Ace is Full of Food. We got the man, myth, legend, 2021 crusher, Conrad Simpson. Welcome, man. I really appreciate you having you on, bud. Thanks for coming. What is popping, my man? Not I was much, excited. Man. I'm excited to be on. Talk about some food, talk this about is, life. Yeah, food, life, poker. I mean, what else? We are some blessed people to get to play poker and eat some of the best food around. You know what I mean? I mean it's, it's true. That is definitely so, true. All right. I got a couple things. Talk to me about your come up in poker. Let's get let's get the boring stuff out of the way first, the poker talk, and then we'll jump into the good stuff. My come up in poker was through dealing for the most part. Like I that's what kept me afloat in poker, actually, I should say. Dealing, playing for I don't know. 10 years and then I eventually moved out to Vegas and um yeah we're here cool <laughs> where are you from where are you originally from I'm from New York New York North that. Jersey but yeah and I know how I know that because you wear that ugly New York Yankees hat oh my god what are you like a fucking Astros fan or something go bang no, a garbage can please, please don't <laughs> please first of all please don't I am a Braves fan. I was at Game Six this year, watching, watching the Astros get their asses kicked. Me and my All wife right. were there. Bucket list okay. event. We checked it off. We were I at the World it. Series, actually. That's what's up. And, uh, and of course, my group chat was, oh, "We never knew you're a Braves fan." Going off all this other. I was like, "Look, Greg Maddox, John Smoltz. I didn't like us when we sucked, but we came back." <laughs> and then, and then we lost Freddie Freeman this year, and it was like, oh, God. Not for nothing. I still love your team. Oh, You have yeah, a lot of young talent. Yeah, yeah Akuna, sure. I'm excited. Akuna's a beast. Oh, dude. Yeah, Baez is good, too, man. Yeah. A huge fan. Huge, huge fan. Um, but so, the Yankees are the best. I mean, tomato, tomato, whatever. I'm, we're actually <laughs> going, me and the wife and the family are going to go watch the Mets uh here soon we'll be in new york so we're excited about that oh sweet so coming you're in new york how did you get started in poker high school usually no actually i didn't start poker until so i grew up in new york uh, long island but i moved to north jersey when i was like 7 18 and i started playing games with my friends, like, $5 tournaments in the kitchen table and stuff like that. Eventually, they grew into finding a 1-2 game around the corner or something that somebody ran. And then that turned into having a game at my house, you know, in the garage or in my room or something wild like that. And that turned into getting a phone call one night to call, uh, deal a 2-5 game. Made, like, 700 bucks in four hours. I was like, yep. This is this, this is fun. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, right? Do you ever sit back and think, man, this is where I was, and now look where I'm at now? Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy. Yeah, it looks crazy. Come so some of, oh yeah, some of those home games, I'm sure, had some good food. Um, yeah, because I grew up, I was in North Bergen, New Jersey, and there's nothing but Spanish food, so that was awesome. Oh, um. Yeah. Stuff that I would just like never eat, like but, uh, mangu. Mangu oh and salami. Comes six o'clock in the morning. The mangu comes, the Dominican flip from the Dominican spot. What? So good. The salami, the eggs, popping. Everybody likes the che the fried cheese. I'm not a big fan of it. But you, you it was there. It was present yeah. in the in the selection. Yes. All right, dude. So preparing for this podcast, I was like, I gotta look up, I gotta look up to see who Conrad is. So I looked up your hand in mob, dude. And it, 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 I, I started scrolling through it. I saw a little bit of eh, 2018, sprinkled in some small stuff, 2019. Then you you win a ring. That was that's pretty cool. You want to talk about that, man? Please. I'm, I'm a ring chaser myself. I that's one of my top three uh, poker things. I want a bracelet. I want a ring, and I want a win trophy. So you have a Wait. ring. Talk to us about the ring. Honestly, that win trophy is the nicest thing there is. A hundred percent agree. <laughs> the ring was, um, I got that by some technicality, some wild 
um, technicality, basically. There was like, so basically my friend Corey, it's actually a very funny story because Corey was playing at a final table for um, playing for a ring. And I was just sitting there and I had played the um, round and round the rotation tournament earlier in the day. And there was like 12 people left in the tournament or something like that. And for some reason, Chad Holloway comes over to me and we were just hanging out talking. And for some reason, we were still allowed to rebuy if we were already in the tournament. And mind you, like there's 12 people left or something like that. Not that there were so many people in this tournament, but there was 12 people. There was 12. Yes. (laughs) And it's like, (laughs) it's super late. I don't even, I can't even remember the, the exact logistics. But of course, that means I'm gonna fire a couple bullets if I have like nine minutes to run up, run up a stack. So whatever, <laughs> um, hopped in it, and um, yeah, won a ring. <laughs> whatever the, the reason it is. Oh, you but the best, the, part, the best part about it is Corey won the ring the day before that, that night. Awesome. Was, What's up, Corey? Corey's a good dude, man. We played. Sure, been, we played a lot. Yeah, we played a lot at the Valley Circuit, and y'all are. That's yeah. Good, great people. Nonetheless, you have a ring. You got some jewelry. Do you still have the ring? Yeah. No, I pawned it for thirty bucks. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? I'm gonna go buy it. If I can't win one, I'm buying. I was honestly, I was trying to sell it to Curse that the other day, but she didn't want it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, honestly, though, I, I I'll, if you pawned it, I'm going to go find it because I want a ring so bad. I'm going to. No, you got to win, man. You got to win. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's, it's All right. So 2020 comes and we know what happened there. Yep. So we yeah. didn't play. We didn't play very much poker. And then I. Whoa, scrolled. Whoa, whoa. Speak for yourself. I played more poker in 2020 than I probably ever did in my life. Okay, you're right. Let me let me rephrase. We didn't go uh, outside. Live poker. Yeah, we didn't go outside. <laughs> we didn't go outside. Yes, we didn't go outside. So, I, I learned the game, I must say. Do that. A hundred percent. That allowed me to retire from teaching to play in 2020. I didn't play any live, but yes. Okay. Then I keep scrolling. I see 2021. I'm like, all right, 2021, 2021, 2020. Holy crap. So basically... You said 2021, you whipped it out and said, I'm Conrad Simpson. I'm <laughs> introducing myself to the tournament poker world. And this is what you do. You had a fifth place or fourth place, excuse me, in the 5K. You had uh, a day five in the main event. Dude, talk to us a little bit about that and how it all, trans- what happened from 2019 to 2021? Um, so in 2020, right in the beginning of the pandemic, Jesse Sylvia started staking a bunch of people online and coaching. And I was fortunate enough to be one of those people. So I played the next year online, basically getting coached by him and a couple other people. And yeah, it was, it was a lot of, I played a lot, let's just say. <laughs> I, I can't even tell you how many tournaments I played. I, I should probably actually look that up. It was absurd. But um, yeah. Um, and then came WSOP in 2021. <laughs> so were you staked pretty much or did it carry over? Were you on your own? Um, no. no, that ended in, um, in April. So going, going into summer, I was on my own and was just running around right before the series, basically, and went to go play the win mystery, not the win, the Orleans mystery bounty. And um, I plucked off a tw- the 25K bounty, so that was pretty cool. Oh, was- <laughs> that's pretty sweet. And then that's, that gave us a little bit of ammo to, um, you know, fire in the series, which... Yeah, I mean, I had a really fun series. I was playing games I never played before in my life, getting ninth in them. Played, <laughs> got ninth in the deuce to seven triple draw. I never played oh, that I, game I, in my life. I, I saw that, dude, and I was like, I, I thought it was a typo, but I, I, I did the refresh. No, it's, it's, it was there. <laughs> it was there. That was awesome. Did you play the 25K uh, heads up? No. <laughs> okay, I was like, 
thought I saw that. I was like, man, that's sick. You just you said <laughs> no, not that much of a psycho. So a funny story. I went to go register for. I think I want to go register for like a twenty five hundred dollar tournament. But this was after I got fourth in the fifty k. So I had um, two twenty five k chips on me. So I went to go register um, for a twenty five hundred dollar tournament. I wanted to get changed for these twenty five k chips I had. So as I was doing that, it was they were ending registration for the fifty k. So oh, when I gave the lady the money, she was like, "Oh, you were late." I was like, "What?" But I asked for change. Like I said, I did say, can I have change? <laughs> Five minutes later, I had to take it to a 50K. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do there? Imagine they accidentally, like, that's crazy. Well, honestly, my first, the first thought in my mind is, wow, I guess I should just play this tournament now. <laughs> I mean, if that's not a sign, what is? We could be, We could be talking to the to the world champion of the player's champion right now. That's you true. Know, That's if true. things could have gone a little differently for you. I'll wait a couple years. couple years. Give me a couple of years. <laughs> we'll, do it, we'll do it the right way. Yeah, of course. You don't want you don't want to you don't want to slow roll yourself into buying into that tournament. So <laughs> so going forward, what's the plan this year? What are you looking forward to? What do you got? Talk to me. Um just looking forward to the grind. Right now I'm playing in a lot of cash. Um just trying to play uh, long hours because I was pretty fucked up at the end of days last year. I mean, in October for, during the series because it was just long hours day after day after day after day and just showing up. It's just, you got to kind of like, I don't know, need some uh, stamina here. Yeah, no, I agree, dude. I play, that's why I like playing online. It's not the same, but it gives you that long feel of a long day and you can finish a tournament. So mm -hmm. I kind of get that going you had some online scores recently also correct so um, on acr I, I saw you post oh yeah, yeah i got yeah i got uh i won the yeah i won the warm-up in january i it's saw a, that man that that's a good cool. that's a sick tournament dude for 109 yeah it's a very, like 43K. very yeah it's dude pretty that's awesome because awesome. you know it's like that one tournament that you just even like if you have a million dollars in your bank account or in your ACR account, or one hundred and nine dollars in your ACR account. Come Sunday, you're going to play that tournament. It's the best it just tournament. Doesn't, that is the tournament. So if you win, it just feels really good. <laughs> no, I I a hundred percent agree with you. Um, are you ready? Have you looked at the series, your schedule? Have you looked at any of that stuff to get it going? I haven't looked at anything yet. Really? Yeah. I, I like it. The calm well, I just. Storm. It's just because I, I don't know exactly what I'm doing uh, as per selling action or whatever um, and how much action I'm selling. So I just haven't even looked at it yet. Oh, I get you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a lot. I just did my schedule. And it's like, well, got to delete that. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. I will be selling a full package this year. <laughs> Very good. You know I'm a buyer, man. I'm a believer. I'm a buyer, brother. So yeah, Absolutely. Um. What about cash? How's cash in Vegas right now? I know it's wishy washy sometimes. How, what are your thoughts? How's it going? How's... I've, been, I've been playing one two mat stack at the MGM, just hanging out. I love it. It's great. It's the greatest vibe. It's the floor is compiled of everybody who loves the <laughs> the manager there, and everybody's cool. It's just great. I agree, man. It's one of the there and uh there's like the smaller casinos are the places to be because that's where all the casinos send the people to get comped mm -hmm. so they'll go dump two three hundred bucks while they're having a couple of drinks and get out of there you know what i mean i agree yeah. mgm's great yeah it's been really cool there i've been awesome. playing for like the last th two weeks there i think and i've been having a lot of fun i love the wind too wind's a great room yeah it's just a beautiful overall atmosphere and all that good stuff yeah all right, dude. I'm ready to get into the meat and potatoes. No pun intended. What, what do you got of... for me? All right. Dude, you're from New York. I feel everybody from New York can freaking cook. I don't know why. I just look and I think, oh, you're from New York. Oh, you're probably a good cook. No, you're are you, wrong. Are you a cook? Are you I, a cook? I can personally cook. Like, I cook. But that if you're from New York, you can cook. Thing it's wrong. That's right. Oh, yeah, I know. But in my mind, I see someone. Oh, you're from New York. You probably can cook some badass chicken parm. Yeah, wow. for sure. That's that. I mean, all right. So you're a cook. What is your 
go-to meal? If you're going to try to woo a girl and invite her over, what are you cooking her? No, 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 no. I'm not wooing anybody. I'm cooking my <laughs> <laughs> tacos, <laughs> rice and beans, and I'm good. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Tacos, rice, and beans. Are you a pick not- eater? Uh, no, I eat a lot. I eat, eat basically everything. Really? Like, there's been some things I haven't tried, like maybe like oxtail, duck, um, alligator. Yeah, nah, man. I, I'm, I don't live in the south. I haven't even seen alligator on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find it. I'm finding some for you this su- <laughs> this summer. We're trying some alligator. I've never tried it personally. I don't know if I could, but mm. I mean, the, everyone, the typical, it tastes like chicken. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know about that. Alligators always like swamps and shit. <laughs> is, <laughs> is there any foods that you'll just say, ah, like vegetables or anything? You'll be like, nah, I'm out. Nah, I love vegetables. I'd rather eat vegetables than anything. Really? Yeah, I'm a big fan of like vegetables, spices, like. I just love food. I, I love eating. Oh, yeah. No, I do. I see some of your posts and stuff, and for sure. All right. Are you a tilt eater, dude? Would you consider yourself a tilt eater? Um, nah, I don't think so. No, nah, I just I just eat all the time when I want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> see, cause I, back in my early days, I was definitely one of those, oh, I'm on a diet, and then I go lose $200 when I was 18, and I'm like, nah, forget it. I'm picking up biscuits and gravy for for the after for, for the after wash down the pain of losing two hundred dollars <laughs> yeah i mean i don't think i yeah no no definitely not until here <laughs> do you ever do you ever see yourself after like a losing session or a winning session does that ever dictate what you eat hell yeah because it dictates how much money i had <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell my friends. I said, you, you can you can tell how I'm doing, how the week's going, if I'm eating Texas Roadhouse or if, or if I'm eating Wendy's. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, you see me at Nobu, it's popping. <laughs> it is popping. Oh, man. That's crazy. Are you a snacker at the poker table? Um, I really get freaked out, like, about putting my hands on stuff, like, eating wise when I'm at the poker table. I'm not like the biggest fan of it. I'm just so no, I'm not. No, so you're more of a on the break, let me go get a snack and Yeah, I'll I'll I'd rather go like eat somewhere. I was thinking about it like yesterday. I was eat I was sitting at the table and I ordered like flank steak and I even got it like cut up and stuff. And I was like picking at it. I couldn't do it. I just left it on the chair behind me. And I still realized I left it there. And I did not clean it up. What an asshole. <laughs> I'm a big guy. I'm, I, I mean, I, I don't miss very many meals in life, but <laughs> e- eating at the poker table for me is like, it's kind of weird, dude. Like, like at the Venetian, they have the Grand Lux and I love the Grand Lux, yeah. but I just can't eat at the poker table. Dude. Like me open. I know the way I, my wife hates the way I choose sometimes. <laughs> so you so got- I, <laughs> in my mind, I'm seeing myself chew and my wife saying, I can't believe you're doing this to the other eight players at the table. You know? <laughs> That's great. So I'm done. I just I just stopped. I, I retired from eating at the poker table. And, <laughs> and that's it, you know? That's pretty good. How yeah, I mean, you... I'm not a fan of it. It's just like, it's, it's kind of it's icky. It's, yeah. yeah. Like, at the World Series, I would, on break, I would go to that little store and maybe get, like, a candy. I'll do that. Like, I'm cool with that. Yeah, you know? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the shakes. Like, shakes are nice and easy. Yeah, see those? Uh, R.I.P. All-American Dave, but yes. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm, what about, I don't know about you, but after I bag, that's when I enjoy having a meal. Like, not during a dinner break per se, but after I bag. What about you? I can't eat at night, usually. Like, it comes to the point where, like, I'm so tired if I get to that point. Like, I'm just – I just want to eat a drink a shake or something. So I would go to, like, Jamba Juice or something on my way home, Smoothie King, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, Tropical Smoothie, that's the one. Trop- Tropical Smoothie, yeah. yeah. They just opened one here a while back at our hometown. It's really good. 
I, yeah. I, I thoroughly enjoy. In the 24 hours, doesn't can't beat that. Oh, damn, not here. That's crazy, dude. 24 hours, that's legit. I mean, it's Vegas. Shit's popping. That's true. No, you're right. That's true. <laughs> you're right. All right, so dinner breaks. What do you do during your dinner breaks? Um, what do I do during my dinner breaks? Grab anything that's the easiest, the best, and like the quickest. Just the most convenient. I for like during poker, I want to the most most convenient option. I just want to be like by myself on dinner breaks, and not by myself, but like you know, the thaw away from. Yes, I get you. I, I don't want to sit at a table really, like in a, in a restaurant or something. I just want to like chill off in the corner and just eat, chill, and just wait my. Keep my mind right for 45 minutes or whatever we got. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Are you excited about the move from the Rio to Bally's as far as food options to go? Like you're going to be a lot easier access to a lot more, a lot more things out there. Yeah. I don't know um, what's like easy, like easy and good without eating shit food. I might just start like cooking and that might be the that might be the option for like um for WSOP because when it comes down to it, you look around, it's like okay, there's gonna be a shitload of people here. Like this is all this is the strip in the summer already. On top of that, WSOP, and like we're just talking about pretty bad times for lunch and dinner. It's it's gonna get it's gonna get uh it's gonna get interesting. We're gonna have to get the grease, and there's gonna be some. Some bo- bobbing and weaving, some swings thrown for sure, trying to get in and out of that parking lot, dude. I, I I'm excited to see how that one goes because where's the parking lot? I don't even know. Exactly. I mean, I guess you park everywhere, but I'm I'm ready. I'm already thinking Giordano's has the to go pizzas. That's going to be maybe an option for some people, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, they have the wall burgers right there. Wall burgers. Um, a hot Nashville hot chicken, I think, or something like that. Oh yeah, it's in that little packed. plaza in front of Bally's. Never packed. I always pass you know, by there. You had to see these chicken tenders. They're like this big. It was absurd. I was like, "What are these things?" They're at that Nashville place. Yeah, they're absurd. I, for sure, they import the chickens from Nashville because ain't no damn chickens like that in Texas or Vegas. I guarantee you. <laughs> And put some steroids in that in that shit. Alex Rodriguez type. Ooh, I went there. You went there. Damn. A-Rod. Damn. Steroids. Uh, wait. No big deal. Yeah, no, no good. Sorry, no. sorry. All right, P. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take me back to New York. Some of the best spots you had to eat in New York. Back home. Um man. It's more like what food is good at home. Like, it's it's more like bagels, pizza, and fucking Chinese food for me. Like, what's good? Like, that's the good stuff when you're in New York. Like, that's the stuff that you really won't go bad. Like, you just can't really go wrong at too many places. Whereas outside of New York, it's it's, it's a nine one one catastrophe. It is a absolutely goddamn catastrophe on why there's no bagels that taste good anywhere else in this place. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Pizza too. I mean, I understand it's the water, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, come on. It's not – it's 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 so good in New York. <laughs> so you're saying I have to have a bagel when I go to New York? I'm saying that is all I eat when I'm in New York is bagels, <laughs> pizza, and Chinese food. Um, yeah. But, like – when it comes to restaurants, Lavo's, Lavo's good. I like Lavo, but they start, they took away their bread. They don't bring the breadsticks anymore. They don't even was, have it. And that was their court. That was, that was their go-to. That was your, the, Dude. the thing. So you know how like Olive Garden had their breadsticks, you know, you get all you can eat breadsticks or whatever. Okay. Lavo had like their nice uh, French baguette bread, nice garlic bread, whatever. They just come out for free. Complimentary, you know? So are you a, are you a, hold I'm on, go- I have to, I have to tell you this because I'm mm-hmm. very upset about it. Oh, he's they, until- took, they took the bread off the menu, Leo. 
completely gone. You can't even they order it. They, they won't give it complimentary. They won't give it to make you pay, pay for it. They won't give it at all. It was the best thing ever. So don't go there. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> I, I feel like we opened up some wounds here, boys. Like yeah. Ace is full of foods gonna be uh is is gonna be you're dreaming about me asking that question about the bread being at lava. <laughs> all right, I'm not going. I was going to New York. I was gonna go there till you said not to go. All right. Yeah, no, no. All right, what about Las Vegas? What do you where are you where are your go to spots? All right, Vegas I can it's much better for me. All right. My favorite place in Vegas is probably going to be damn I love everything this is so fucked so like going out like on a how about like a lunch basis on, on my favorites are like Chiba Hut um which is like a sandwich spot but it's like a stoner sandwich spot so everything's like named after weed stuff it's pretty cool um Mexican food is amazing here. Stop. I'm bringing you to Brownsville. Where's Brownsville? That's where I live. The very tip of Texas. We're Mexican. I got to try these Mexican places you speak of. Just so you know. I mean, it's just good. I mean, it's like overall Mexican food is, is good here. Yeah, I agree. Javier's. You like Javier's? I love Javier's. Their lobster quesadilla is popping. Dude. This oh, is my so God. It's so good. Their chips and salsa. Holy shit. For a Mexican to say a spot has good chips and salsa, that's fire. Like, you've made it, you know? All right. <laughs> Tip in the hat, you know? Like, what, when you say good chips, what do you like? Like, do you like thin, crispy chips or like thick, like overcooked dog shit chips? Well, it depends the salsa. So, <laughs> that's it. If the salsa is super thick, you got to have a thicker chip, 100%. But if it's more like a little pico de gallo, you can have a little thinner chip because it, it'll, it'll pile on nice and pretty. So okay. it, 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 you got to have a balance. There's a place here that, that gives you all three options. Dude. Really? I'm intrigued. Dude. And they give you flour tortilla chips. So they're cut flour tortillas, extra crispy, and they're cut in the chip form. Next level. That's That's next, next problem. Level. Yeah, I might have to go home and just try it myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pizza. I know this is a sensitive subject. I've talked to you about this before. Pizza in Vegas. Don't give me that. It all sucks. Give me a spot if you had to pick one or two. It all sucks. Wow, I knew that was coming. I don't know why I asked. <laughs> no, I, like, I mean, there's this place that's actually on my corner. Uh, it's called uh, Familia's Pizza or something like that. Okay. Uh, and it's decent. It's in Southwest. And But other than that, there's nothing really good to me. Like, I really just don't like any pizza here. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, places I do like here, though. Korean barbecue is pretty good here. That's – I'm a big fan of Korean barbecue. Really? Yeah. What about Chinese? Yeah. I haven't found a good Chinese spot or, like – Maybe I'm not looking hard enough, but there's one spot. Like again, there's one spot that I ordered from because I eventually got to them, and it was okay. It was something that I can deal with, so I was like, okay, uh, whatever. It's not not great at all. It's like a five, five, out of 10. five in in my fat world. Five's terrible. Uh oh, technical difficulties. We invite him again. Let's see here. Conrad, are you there? Technical difficulties. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Let me invite. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yo. Conrad. Dude, I'm sorry I brought up the bread, bro. I apologize. You don't got to leave. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I'll find you some new bread. I promise you I will find you some new bread, bro. <laughs> uh, My bad. So what, you, what were you asking me? You, I was telling you about a, me being fat and a five. My stomach does not uh, recognize fives in this stomach. That's what we were talking about. So, it's not good. Fives no, are not, not good. No, definitely not. No. All right, you're a sporting guy. You're a sport. You love sports. I know this. I love the stats of sports. <laughs> That's so. Let's say on a Sunday. What are we doing on a Sunday? Football. What's on the What's on the grill? What's on the menu? I'm not watching any. Not watching any sports on a Sunday. I really don't care about watching anything live. I'm the worst. I, really? As a kid, I used to wait till the newspaper just so I could look at all the stats. Dude, like I, I, I've always loved like just looking at stat boxes and stuff like that. Really? So when it comes to like, sports, I watch the games by just looking at stat boxes. To me, like it's dude, uh, that's awesome. Okay, I have a question. On these long Sunday grinds that you play, what are you <laughs> what are you eating? Because I, I, I struggle. Fuck, don't we all? We're the worst. We Uber eat fucking dog shit food to us. It's the worst, man. Like, it, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's awesome. You can't do anything. It makes you want to cry because, like, what else am I going to do? It's just, it's Sunday. I just got to order food three times while I'm sitting in my house playing online poker. And the worst <laughs> one is when your wife, when the wife comes in and she's like, are we going to order anything to eat? And I'm like, oh, yeah, of course. So I'll, I'll order on Uber Eats or I'll order on Grubhub. So I get on Grubhub, close, close, because it's Sunday, close. Uh, babe, we have anything in the fridge? <laughs> you got like one option, Marco's yeah. Pizza or something yeah. like that. That's like the wor <laughs> that's worse than any bad beat telling her we can't order from Uber Eats or Grubhub. That's worse than any bad beat. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> absolute pits. Ask, telling my wife, oh, babe. I, and she always tells me. You see, you don't plan ahead, and we can't eat anything good on Sunday because you're playing. Rugby. <laughs> oh, the dagger! Now you're in trouble. Yeah, and then I just, but babe, I'm deep. There's like sixty left. I mean, if we win, we can go get something after. <laughs> after comes three o'clock in the morning, and nothing is open. <laughs> oh, and we lose, and we suck. We're in trouble. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we have a. You have the one house though, right? Huh? You have Waffle House is where you are, though, right? Of course we don't. No? No, we don't, dude. Uh, aren't you so... Well, doesn't I mean, I mean, we, ha we have an IHOP, but I mean... No, all right. We have an IHOP. We have a Denny's. But Uber Eats does not... Like, in our town... Like, Vegas is different, obviously. You know what I mean? Wait, Uber Eats doesn't work like that in your town? No, Uber Eats at like nine o'clock, done. It's t it's the worst. I don't want. Now I'm getting on tilt. I might leave like you did, get upset and leave and do all this crazy stuff. <laughs> that's that's Max pain right there. That, oh, dude, it's the worst. And then the worst is not knowing the time and getting up and oh, babe, I'm, all right, let's get some food, babe. It's eleven o'clock at night. Oh no. Max no. paid. All right, For dude. Sure. So I got a, a segment called Calling the Clock. Yeah. I'm going to rapid fire you, answer what you got. If you take too long, guess what? I'm calling the clock on your ass. Let's go. All right. Favorite type of chips? Uh, Tortilla. Favorite type of sandwich? Turkey and cheese. That's cute. Favorite type <laughs> of non-alcoholic drink? Pepsi. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. A favorite adult beverage? Uh, uh, Dewar's. Repeat that? Dewar's. Wow. Just straight, straight whiskey. I like it. That's a man's drink. I couldn't do it. I'm a whiskey sours kind of guy. <laughs> All right. I've never had it. This is for you because I know you. What's your favorite type of coffee? Oh. Uh, cream to stevia. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Follow up Stay question: Dunkin' or Starbucks? It's so fucking crazy because, like, 
I grew up on Duncan. There was there was no Starbucks where I, like it was just Duncan down the block, Duncan here, Duncan there. I had Duncan every day of my life. But you know, now Starbucks comes in, they have a little bit of stronger beans, it tastes really good. I'm torn, you know? Every so you know what I do? In the mornings, I go to Dunkin' Donuts. In the afternoons, I go to Starbucks. This is something wow. that I deal with. This is, I deal with this on a daily basis. This question. That is a uh <laughs> that is interesting. That's you're spending a lot of money on coffee. Can I buy you a Keurig? <laughs> Holy crap, Conrad. <laughs> I I wouldn't want to see what my life expenses of stupid things like coffee would be. Over, because under, what would you set the number? I don't even know. I buy like, a good, I drink like three coffees a day, maybe four. That's, for, that's from an outer spot like Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. And then, all right, so like 30 bucks. Wow, that's crazy, dude. $25. That's uh that's a few hands of poker there. I like it. We're... It's not good. It's not good. No. But what can I say? I love my coffee. Yeah, There's if you love something, might as well do it. You know what I mean? Sure. All right. If I was a little bit smart, I'll just make it at home, but <laughs> <laughs> trust me, I have a Keurig. I have a cappuccino machine. <laughs> yeah, you got it all and you're still out there. You're out in the streets, baby. <laughs> Just on the fly, man. Uh, someone on someone on uh, Twitch says Leo needs to try coffee, dude. Imagine me on coffee. I'm already hyped as it is. There's no way. Wait, you don't drink coffee? Never had it in my life. I had it. Okay, I lie. I had it once, dude. I could not. I just. It was like black, so I didn't really like enjoy. And then I see all these people, like my wife, three pumps, no no calf, half calf, shaking, not stirred, like, <laughs> like. Where was this when I wanted to try coffee? Like they just, <laughs> they just gave me crappy coffee. Like, yeah. what, what's going on in my life that I couldn't have that? Yeah, no, you, you just were guided the wrong way. That's the problem. Yeah, no, I'm I'm done. Black, not tasting coffee. Like I feel like so when it comes to coffee, I feel like you you kind of have a um um either a progression as as life goes on. When you first start drinking coffee, you'll only really drink it if it's light and sweet because it just tastes like candy kind of. It tastes good, whatever. As life goes on, the sweetness, like, you know, kind of wears off. You don't want you don't want all that sweet stuff anymore or whatever. So it's just you get closer to black every single year. <laughs> and eventually, you get to either your breaking point that you can't go anymore or, or you're, you're just, drinking black coffee. Or you're just walking around with an IV and the coffee just... <laughs> Get me. I'm in. I'm a big fan of coffee. Man. <laughs> awesome, man. All right. Favorite type of pizza? New York. Cheese, cheese. <laughs> Got me. Cheese or pepperoni? Oh, uh, I think cheese. A good cheese slice, like, it's just the best. Agreed. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. All right. Chick fil A or Popeyes? The chicken Chick fil A. That shit ain't even close. I'm not even going to Popeyes. I'm going to Chick-fil-A only, and that's the only fast food place I'm going to, but I absolutely fucking love Chick-fil-A. What's your so, order? What's your order? Uh, spicy chicken sandwich. Damn. Maybe some nuggets on the side. Me and my boy Georgie, we do the sandwich with the side of nuggets. It's so good. It's next level. Uh, you ever had the frozen lemonade? Of course. It's popping. It's so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's my drink of choice when I go. The, the lemonade is so good. Did you, you? How long have you guys? Have you always had a Chick Fil A by you? Yeah, since I was ki since I was a kid. That that makes me jealous. Like I didn't get Chick Fil A until I I didn't see a Chick Fil A until I was like twenty. Dude, that's yeah. sad. I feel I'm buying you Chick Fil A this summer. First oh. dinner break, Chick Fil A's on me. <laughs> for the for the sadness. For the sadness, dude, Chick Fil A is the bomb, bro. But it's back so when we were kids, it was it was just the chicken sandwich and the nuggets. Like we didn't have choices, and you I couldn't mean, take the pickles out of the sandwich. I, I love the pickles on the sandwich. What do you mean? I mean, you want to take the pickles off? No. Well, okay. It depends how, how frisky I'm feeling that day. If I go uh, cheese and bacon in my sandwich, no pickles. 
If I'm going just, all right, all right. it just I depends. Right? I mean, I'm the pickiest, fattest eater, fattest guy you're ever going to meet. <laughs> <laughs> How do you take your steak cooked? Medium. I like it. Favorite cut of steak? I'm bad when it comes to that. I think it's a ribeye. Like, I, I don't really care, honestly. As long as it's, it's good. Ribeye. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Good. Favorite, you say you don't go to fast food, but do you, no fast food burger spots you, you hit up? I mean, Five Guys. If we're, if we're considering Five Guys and Shake Shack, uh, our fast food burger my, spots, I'm in there. You're just, you just went to my wife's number one favorite guest we've had on the, on the podcast. That's her favorite burger. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> It's so good. I love it too. I took it to my buddy one time. I drove it like 20 minutes to a poker house. He he paid me to take it to him. He loved it. <laughs> He's never had it. All right. Tater tots or fries? Tater tots for the most part. I like good I, – I love a good steak fry with some seasoning. But, you know, yeah, I think tater tots. Burns. I agree. All right. Chocolate candy. I'm not a big fan of chocolate candy. Um – if I'm in that weird one-off mood, I would say Andy's Mints. Wow. That must be some – that's deep. That's childhood stuff because yeah. I've never heard of that. That's true. You know what, what? We don't have Andy's Mint. We don't have that here. When you, when you go to Olive Garden and they give you a check. Oh, no. The that... mints they put on your <laughs> – The worst. What? I can't – chocolate and mint should not go together. I'm telling you. Oh, that. my God. You're slowly declining. Yankees was already on the decline. Oh, my God. And these mints. Oh, Lord. Now it's just we're straight nosediving, Conrad. Uh, all right. Favorite brand of water. I'm bougie now that I've done well. I like a good bottled water. I um, didn't start drinking water until this year. Last year. Like, really. What? Like, I don't really drink water. Like when you people drink water, I drink coffee. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, it's true. When we played together, you did have a coffee and a hot tea. And I always have a bunch of drinks, and it's never really water. As life goes on, I'm starting to force myself to drink a little bit of water. But so I'm not, I'm not bougie like that. Just give me a bottle of water. I'll drink the shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, I get you. <laughs> no, but in life, I'm gonna. I'm by. I'm gonna show you the different. Like, there's different types of waters. Nah, man, I gotta pick and choose my battles. The one-off times I buy water, it can be the cheap ones. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Uh, I sell ten dollars bottles of water. Everybody just relax. <laughs> okay, at Olive Garden. Next time you go, if you ever go, you mentioned Olive Garden. You have to get. Oh, I can't remember. The, it's P A N N. A water, it's the best, hands and down. Uh, not, not even it's not ten bucks. Water. It's like three bucks a bottle. It's so good, so good. I'll, I'll try that. I'm gonna try it one time for you. All right. Never again. Chips Ahoy, <laughs> <laughs> Chips Ahoy or Oreos? Chips Ahoy, not even close. Oreos suck. Dude, Chips Ahoy. I like the chunky Chips Ahoy. Next level. That's next level fat. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the chewy. Chewy are ho- it's oh. horrible. Dude. Horrible. They ruin the cookie. I don't even know why they sell them things. Every my time best... I see a red red pack, I'm so upset. Oh, my best friend growing up used to put them. Like, I, I, almost, like, I almost did not be best friends with this guy for the rest of my life. He used to get the <laughs> chewies and put them in the microwave. I almost snap called my mom to come pick me up. <laughs> Mom, do you see the shit he's doing? You're letting me hang out with this loser? <laughs> Couldn't do it. We, we had a good talk. We had a good talk, and life's changed, and now he's a, and now he's a principal. So we're all right. <laughs> so all right, Gatorade or Powerade? I don't even think this is close. I would never pick up a Powerade over a Gatorade. Like I, I'm, I'm not picking. I'm not picking it up regardless, like a Gatorade, really, for the most part, unless I'm like dying and just need some t- electrolytes or something. But it's like, who would ever, ever, ever in their right mind pick up a Gatorade, a Powerade over a Gatorade? It just doesn't I make mean, sense to me, honestly. Agreed. What's your favorite flavor if you have to? 
um, the uh, glacier cherry or something like that. Okay. It's like right. the, the clear looking cherry flavor. It's really good. Yeah, that's good. No, yeah, I see. Okay, egg roll or spring roll? Egg roll. Sherb egg roll to be exact. Ooh, that's, I've never had that before. I got to find them. I'm telling you, yeah. I, I love Chinese food, dude, but I can't find one in Vegas. What, Chinese food? Yeah. Wait, you don't have Chinese food there? No, yeah, we do, but it's, remember, we're a bunch of Mexicans over here, so Chinese food is like, it's like <laughs> your, your TSO chicken is with hot sauce. <laughs> so that's where, we're, that, that, that's where we're at over here. Okay, we, okay. We have Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, gushers or fruit roll ups? Ooh, man. At this point in life, I'm going with fruit roll ups. But growing up, it's probably definitely 100% gushers. Ooh, favorite hot pocket? None. None. Okay, I like that. Bacon or sausage? Bacon. Favorite fast food sandwich? Spicy chicken, not even close. If I eat anything from fast food, it's a spicy chicken sandwich. Okay, so what about like Subway, Jersey Mike's? Oh, it's like that. Um, turkey and cheese, or yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> it's funny. When I go to Subways, I get everything green. So I just tell them to put everything green on it and like a little layer of like meat and cheese. Really, I just I just love their bread and their um, yeah, that's everything cool. that comes with it. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Big fan of that. All right, here's another good segment. Bad, we call it the bad beat segment. All right, I want to know. So I run bad, dude. I have the absolute worst luck at restaurants. Like oh, you have God. no idea. Like I have stories for days of how bad I run. Cry me a river. Dude, I wish I, if, <laughs> if I could, we'd be the fucking Nile. I'll tell you that. That's how bad it is. My wife's probably watching, laughing. All my poker buddies watching, laughing, because it never fails. Like, you there's know, times where, where I think Ashton Kutcher is going to run out and say, ah, you just got punked. You, you have no idea, bro. I mean, it just happens. Okay. So, Sometimes have you ever experienced me. any? Any bad beats at a restaurant? Like bad stuff? Bad at a restaurant? Yeah, oh, that's another one. That's no, a, yeah, uh, I'm talking. Uh, no, I wasn't talking about poker bad beats. I'm talking uh, about I run so bad at, at restaurants, bro. No, how explain this to me? How do you run so bad? That's what I was talking about. Bad beats. I don't care about poker. I'm talking about food, bro. My bad beats at restaurants are next level. Next level. Okay. Well, what? What's a bad beat at a restaurant? We're at spring break. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm first year of college. Mm -hmm. We waited in line for an hour and a half at Whataburger. I don't know if you know what a Whataburger, if you know. Yeah. Okay. I just, I just got introduced to one last year in Texas. So good. It's probably one of the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dude, waited in line forever. Finally get it. Go sit down. I take a bite. I order it. They customize it. Grilled onions everything i mean to the t boom i open it take a bite there's no meat in the sandwich bro <laughs> how long you wait online <laughs> 45 minutes to an hour we're at south padre island we're at south padre island spring break first year out of college order customize i'm livid that was that started the bad beat that started my bad beat in restaurants. <laughs> you don't understand. It gets way better, though, Conrad. You have no idea. Bro, let me tell you. One time I order wings and a hot dog combo at a wing, at a wing place. They bring me one wing on a plate with Danish on top. I'm posting it after this. After, this, after we get you, done. Are you a wing? One bonus one wing. wing. And with I... They just, yeah, just they just did ah let me let me sprinkle some some green stuff on top. I'm with my coaches. We're about to go scout another football team. 
So yeah. I think all oh, these fuckers, they put them up, they put they put the the cook up to it. They're messy with me. Nope. <laughs> One wing at a restaurant. <laughs> Tell me that's not a bad beat. I mean that that's it. That's a joke right there. That's pretty much a joke. <laughs> I think they're still fucking with you, honestly. Dude, I don't even think you can order one wing. I and I asked the lady. It gets worse. She gets fired because the the manager thinks she did it on purpose. She got fired from there. True story. I'm gonna post a picture of the one wing and a picture of the of the coaches taking a picture of me saying, "Look who else got their order wrong." <laughs> Because we, I mean, we go scout, we go out to eat. Everyone else is eating. I'm the only one without my food. Bad beat. Bro, I weren't so bad at food. So, have you ever had any instances like this? That's. Never. Not one. I couldn't re- I couldn't remember, like, something that I'm extremely annoyed about, like, at all. At I'm, all. I could tell oh. you. Okay, here we go. I like it. All right, so you're thinking. I like it. Nah, yesterday I was on the line at Hagen Dazs and fucking the lady took forever. It was, it was really fucked me up. Really, really ruined my whole day. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the lady's sitting there, all right. The lady's sitting there and just looking at this recipe book and coming back and forth to, to the lady that's in front of me online, in line and just like clarifying if she wants everything that's inside the recipe book. As I'm sitting there in line for, I don't know, 12 minutes, all because I just want a mint chocolate chip shake. <laughs> it was a felt- painful experience ever. It felt, like a lifetime. felt like a lifetime, for sure. Yeah, it was absurd. I have a Chick-fil-A <laughs> one. I'm, gonna exp- I- I'm already on tilt. I'm steaming already at this point. I'm going to give you a Chick-fil-A one. Order amazing no salad. I don't dad beat stories, so no. I don't believe this. I'm at Chick-fil-A. Nope. Order an amazing salad. Get home. No dressing. Just lettuce and cheese and chicken. That those, that stuff is common. That type of stuff is common where I am those, salty. Those are bad like, beats. That is true. Okay, okay. Like, yeah. That that stuff comes a lot. Especially like with Mexican food, like rice and beans, like not sorry, not beans, like rice, um I I usually go to like chicken la plaza. Okay. I guess it's called. Um and I love putting the hot sauce on it. Like, you just don't get it without the hot sauce, though. Like, you just don't live life without hot sauce. 100%. So please, when I order, just send me my hot sauce. And for some reason, they just always forget to do it. And that is my bad beat of my life. <laughs> All right. I like but that's it. it. That's, but that's an everyday bad beat, so I just live with it now. Now, now it's a, it, it becomes a custom. Like it's like yeah. losing a flip or whatever. It's it's just yeah. we're accustomed to it. Yeah, absolutely. Are you a credit card roulette guy? I've played a couple times. I've never or never had to pay. I've always got out clean. No, you run well. Yeah, I do. Do you have any big any any crazy stories that you can tell us with big big uh, big tabs on anybody? Not really. Nothing. Nothing really too fun. Um, I've only played credit card roulette probably like three times. It's and pretty fun. It, it is fun, but it was only like with three or four people, so it's not the bill wasn't too big, so it's not really a fun. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It doesn't even get it doesn't even get the dry. Like, yeah, for sure. Gotta, <laughs> <laughs> the, the juices don't get flowing yet. I lose. I'm like fuck. <laughs> that's awesome alright last question if you could take any poker player past present to dinner who are you taking funny enough nobody but um, <laughs> <laughs> funny enough I went to um, Citrus this little hookah bar by my house last night and I walk in I'm just sitting there and fucking Freddie D was sitting next to me, just sitting there smoking hookah, chilling at the bar, whatever. So I started talking to him, kicking it with him for a little bit. And yeah, Dude. that's how I had dinner with Freddie D last night, kind of. Freddie D. <laughs> I wonder what that guy's up to, man. That guy was at the, that guy was crazy. Yeah, he's cool. 
Yeah, dude, cool that's, dude. that is Chill. awesome. Yeah. Conrad, my yeah, dude? Nobody. I'm bringing nobody. Nobody. That's, you're going to go I'm solo. Right I'm going to eat dinner with you, all right? We're, we're doing it. Dinner. We're going to have dinner. I'm telling you right now, we're breaking bread for sure this summer at the Let's WSOP. 100% fact. Let's do it. Putting it in the books now, dude. Let's uh, get it popping. All right, y'all. I pre- Conrad, dude, you have no idea. Thank you for coming on and helping me get through this podcast. It's, it's been a long time coming. I took over my wife's office, bro, and she was like, well, if you're going to do it, you better do it. We got to move the stuff out. So I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad you were, I was able to, you were able to come on and you were my first guest. Dude, it was awesome. Had a great time. Catch him on Only Friends podcast Monday through Friday uh, with the Solve for Why guys. He is also the dealer for the Poker Out Loud. Um, he's a great dude. I, I thoroughly enjoyed having you. I can't wait to get closer with you this summer, buddy. And uh, break some bread. Uh, it was amazing. Thanks for coming on, bud. Absolutely, man. Thanks for having, having me. Uh, was real quick. Really if cool. We, if we get a uh, thousand views, I will donate two hundred dollars to your a food bank of your choice. So I'm gonna we're gonna blast this on social media. Oh yeah, you're, you're donating. Hold on, let me pump this shit. We're gonna we're we're making sure a thousand goes out immediately. Thousand oh. views. I'm. You tell me the. Food bank of your choice, and then next week when I come on, I will do it live. I will sh- donate it to wherever. Where are we donating to? Uh, I don't know. We gotta find one that's reputable. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna donate to Conrad's uh, Coffee <laughs> Coffee Bank. Uh. You let me know what you find, and we'll do it. I'm excited, dude. This is. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll text nervous. you. That. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, this is awesome. All right, dude. I appreciate it again. Cool. We'll keep in touch. It was fun. Hopefully, we'll get on soon after this summer when you win a bracelet, and uh, we can talk more about your amazing bracelet run, brother. All right, I we'll feel try. It. I believe in you. All right, brother. Talk soon. Later. Peace. Thank you. Everybody, the the first episode is done. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Um, it's been a crazy ride to get here to the podcast, but I feel like this is something we can really we can really benefit from. I'm a huge believer in charity and giving back to the community and to different communities. So Aces Full of Food is going to do whatever it can to help as many people give as many meals as we can. So the more views and the more subscribers we get, I will be donating a proceed of the channel to charity and to food banks across different uh, towns, states, wherever we can, wherever we uh, we need to uh, make things good. Um, thank you all for tuning in. The first of many to come. Love you guys. And uh, please comment in any of the things we do. Uh, on any social media, follow us, Facebook. Uh, no, I don't know why I said Facebook. We have Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, all that good stuff. Twitch, our YouTube channel. We'll be back next Monday. We'll be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday for sure. Uh, two days a week, hopefully three. Got some great guests coming on. Cannot wait to get their insight on their favorite foods and stuff like that. Love you guys. Uh, Kick some butt on the felt.